I'm your host with the most local 23. You're joining me for Kidnapping the Princess, Chapter 14. Now I'm playing a Sybil. I can't believe we're scrubbing the floor right now. I mean, I'm down for it if it's just me, but your future queen, unlike that poser Esmeralda, what right does she have to do this to you? I'm not doing this for her. Van dunks her brush into the pail. Both of you have been ordered to clean the floor e earlier, but the task has barely begun. Who are you doing this for, then? The almighty Princess Talia? Don't you forget that she's the one who wanted us to be ser her servants? Your heart squeezes at the reminder, but you try to pass it off as a shrug. Who are you to judge when you've done so much to Talia in the past? You just wish that it doesn't have to end this way. Don't say that, Van. And Tally is a good person, and this... this isn't her. Of course it isn't. It's a good old floor, Your Highness. You must be losing it. Ha ha. What I meant was, this is definitely not something Talia would do on her own. She's probably confused. I need to find a way to talk to her without being followed. Best be careful while doing that. Gods are always watching us. It's kind of nauseating. There you are. What in the world are you two doing? I've been looking all over for you. Speak of the devil. What brings you to the dirty side of the palace so early in the morning, princess? Do you want us to launder your underwear this time? Your gaze travels to Tally, who looks surprised to see you scrubbing the floor. The next thing you know, she's kneeling in front of you. I didn't order this. Someone will definitely pay. Pay for what, princess? Dahlia's expression hardens as she gets to her feet. Ronaldo has arrived without any of you noticing it. He's always hovering lately, making it hard for you to communicate with the princess. I didn't order the, for them to clean the floor. So, there's servants here. As far as I'm concerned, they are meant to clean and follow instructions. Hmm. Talk back. If you think service needs to follow every order, then you should have failed from the start. I don't think you... I catch her drift, maid. Oh, I know you did murder. Murder? Everyone's dismay, Ronaldo puts his arms on Talia's shoulder. Don't mind her, princess. Scrubbing the floor must have placed some ideas in her head since she can't even think clearly, because if she could, she'd know that talking out of turn could be bad for everyone, especially you. Me? Sybil's actions will reflect on you, and the Queen is mad. And who will she punish? You, Princess. Mother... You're using her to save yourself. Van gets to her feet before anything drastic can happen. Talia pushes Van back from and stares back at down at Ronaldo. Aren't you forgetting that they're my servants? Me, princess, and future queen? That means both of them will follow my orders and mine alone. Not the other maids, not my mother, and definitely not you. Are we clear? What would make... What would you have them do all day? Play in the garden? That's none of your business. But you're nothing but a guard here. Don't forget your place. Van snickers as Ronaldo scowls. You mustn't forget your mother only agreed to this condition because she thought you were doing this as punishment. Don't tell me you're backing out on your word. That would only mean Sybil should be executed immediately. You awful bastard. You have no right to say that. <laughs> we should ask to execute this run too. I think your breath smells. Who's a run now? Could you please close your mouth for a second, Van? And Ronaldo, I'm not banging down on my word. These two are going to be punished as I as agreed. But only I get to do it. Good. I don't want to think you're friendly with them. Queen might take it the wrong way. I want a gun. I want a gun. This guy needs to die. Oh, Lord. And I want to do it in the most slow, painfully, just... Ooh. Don't worry. They're not my friends. They're nothing to me. You feel like you've been slapped, even though Talia has her own reason for saying these things. Van acts on your behalf by reaching for the princess's arm. Please take that back. You love Sybil more than anything. You told me so back on the farm. 
Well, do you love her or not? Will you shut the fuck up, Van? Really? This guy will seriously put a bullet in all of our heads and you Oh yeah, you can fish on the farm, you Oh fuck Jesus Christ. Why should I answer? Because we don't want any misunderstanding. Of course everything you say will reach the Queen. Ellie's eyes flick to you. You know she's going to respond before she opens her mouth, and you're not sure if you can bear to hear it. Take it like a woman. How very sexist of you to charge 12 diamonds. Run away. I can't listen to this. Forget it. Sybil! Ronaldo's laughter echoes behind you as you stand and stumble away. You don't know exactly where you're going. All you want is to get away. Turning the corner, you run smack dab into two people. Ow! Oh! Are you guys alright? Yes, yes, we need to go. The two get up and quickly, and they rush off down the hallway. Thirty minutes later, you are lying in the garden, finally calming down. The back of your throat is painful for holding back the tears earlier, so your voice is gravelly when you ask. What? Talia slapped Ronaldo so hard when you walked away. Why are you telling me this? Because I don't want you to give up on her. I may not have known Talia for as long, but your highness, but I know she's crazy for you. A love like yours can only be found once. Painfully, you get up. Well, speaking of which, where is Brooke? We have not seen her in two books. Where are you going? Taking a walk. I'm coming with you. Who knows what Ronaldo will do if he sees you alone. I appreciate your concern, but I have to be by myself to have some time to think. Are you sure? I'm sure. Venture away without waiting for her reply. These awful moments of torment, you want to keep it all to yourself. After walking for some time, you eventually end up in one of the most secluded spots in the garden. The pond. Sitting, you allow yourself to wallow in the misery at what has become of you and Talia. What am I going to do? I cannot talk to her because of the guards. I cannot kill her mother because she'll hate me. And if I say anything out of line, Talia will get punished. What options do I have left? As if being toyed with by destiny, Talia appears through the trees, standing a few feet away from where you sit. She doesn't appear to have seen you. Is this fate or is she meeting someone here? I think I'll wait and watch. Though your heart is dying to be with her again, you sit patiently, wondering what Tally will do next. Your mouth falls in surprise when she starts to suddenly cry. Damn it, I need to come for her. Are you alright, Princess? A young, tall man emerges from the trees before you can even reach Talia. You dive to the side, your heart racing at this new development. I'm... I'm okay, Lance. But you're crying. I said I'm okay. Guy reaches out to the love of your life. You desperately want to stop him, but something tells is telling you to see what will happen. Tally moves away before Lance can make any advances. You sigh in relief. I'm okay, really. There's no need to be touchy. That's not what you said last night. What? Last night you said you wanted to be hugged. By a friend! You're not obviously a friend. This conversation is going south fast without thinking you leap from behind your hiding place. Sybil, how long have you been there? It doesn't matter. Who is this bloke? <laughs> the young man bows down and introduces himself. I am Lancelot III, a noble. Hmm, you seem familiar, but I'm not sure I've seen you working around here before. Are you new? You don't look familiar yourself. In fact, I haven't heard your name. Your family must be not important. Well, I don't expect a maid to know these things. What the... That's so rude. You're about to make a sarcastic remark when Talia slaps him. Lance staggers back, shocked. Why did you do that? Because you're a jerk. Also, her name is Sybil, and she's not a servant. She's wearing a maid's uniform. I'll kick you if you repeat that. I mean, he's stating the obvious, but sure, kick him. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Now, can we please go back to the palace? The queen wishes to talk to us, and you know how she gets when she... we don't show up immediately. You want to continue your conversation with Talia, but keeping her longer might get her punished. What will you do? I should let her go. I guess... I guess I'll see you later. Great! Bye! Come on, Talia. Not so fast. Sybil, I want to apologize for... Are you crying? No? What are you doing, Princess? We need to go. Listen to him, Dahlia. But I... I found you at last. The Queen requests your presence. Ronaldo's smile twists into a sneer as he sees you and... sees you and Lance holding Talia. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Is your servant bothering you, Princess? I will stab you with a pair of scissors! Do you want me to ask her... As for her immediate execution... No, she's not bothering me. The three of us are just... playing. Aren't we, Lance? Aren't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Since you're also good friends, why don't you tell your servant the reason why the Queen requests your presence? You're stepping over the line. Why? What is it? It's nothing. Nothing! You're getting married with Lance a month from now! Sybil, you should congratulate the princess. It won't be long till she has children with the future king. The food you ate this morning threatens to come out of your mouth. Married. Children. After all this time and everything that happened? Ugh, why don't she just stab me with a sword right here and now? Is it true? Sybil, please! Can't you have picked a... A better way to kill me? You have to trust me on this. Is it true? Yes. Yes, I'm to be married to him. The world stops. I can see as the image of her draped in a white dress, exchanging vows with a guy you don't know living in the palace that you were born to command. A tear falls from your eyes. You bow to Sybil. Congratulations, princess. You're getting married to the wrong prince. Wait, Sybil, I don't love him! Well, I'd say. Then, tell me you're not marrying him. Talia avoids your eyes and reddens. But I am. You have my congratulations. Now leave me the alone. Are you still awake, your highness? Your highness! Yes. The time is unknown to you, though judging by the stillness around it, it must be close to midnight. You and Vanessa are in the maid quarters. Since uh, since we're already talking, may I know what your plan is? How do we take the back the palace? Hmm. I may as well give her false hope. You tell me, what is the best idea you can come up with? man's wide smile is eerie because of the moonlight coming through the window. We kill the queen and get it over with. Great. Then we can go to the armory and kill the dozens of guards who get in our way, wind up at the queen's chamber, kill more guards, and finish Ronaldo before slaughtering Talia's mother. Why do I have a feeling that you're not totally being frank with me right here? I'm just calling it as I see it. See, Van, nobody knows we're here. If we get executed because of a rash decision... Nobody would ever find out. Tally would know. And she's not exactly cooperating right now. Van doesn't speak for a minute or two, and you try to hide the faint expression on your face as much as you can. I heard she's getting married. Thank you, Van, for that. <clears throat> a sick feeling in your stomach is back with a vengeance. More than that, you want to pound your fist against a wall until your hands bleed. Anything is better than this. Aren't you going to do anything about it? What? Go to the church and tell them to stop? They're killing us on the spot. You don't know Esmeralda like I do. She's only keeping us alive because of her selfish reasons, but the moment Tally is married, she'll behead us. We need to leave this place, then. What is the point of staying if that's our future? What's more if Talia wants to marry that Lancelot dude than her? Leave if you want, Van, but I'm staying. I was born here and I will die here. 
The moment Talia weds with Lance, I will kneel in front of her and ask for death. There's no point in living anyway. I failed my parents, I failed me, and now I even failed the love of my life. Van gives you a pity look. You never thought you'll receive it from someone who used to be enemies with. And strange how the world works. I've made a promise to stay by your side. If that means I need to knock some sense into the princess's stubborn head to keep her alive, then I'll do it every time. We'll do whatever you wish. Okay, just a quick question before I go to sleep, though. Go ahead. Do you... Do you think that Brooke is okay? I did everything to let her escape from the gods, but I'm still worried. Oh, so she got away. I'm sure she's fine. And Brooke is a smart girl. She'll know what to do. Thank you for the assurances, Your Majesty. I have the biggest crush on that girl, and it would hurt if she got killed. I know. Go to sleep. Cutting conversation short is the only way you know how to cope with Brooke's disappearance. But in reality, the thought of her hurt being hurt by somewhere unreachable pains you as much as the idea of Talia getting married. You've been trying to push their gruesome images away, each one of them. The next day, you and Vanessa are in the garden with Talia and her fiancé. Lance and Talia are having afternoon tea, and as the newest maids, you are assigned to cater to their every need. May I have some more tea, please? How about instead of some tea, you get some <laughs> Some you. Um, pour him some tea. Oh, I got a diamond for that one. The question is an insult for someone like you, but what's more insulting is the fact that Tally isn't saying anything to correct it. You exchange looks with Van and take the teapot from the table. Here's your... Whoops! Oh, sorry, I trip. Ah! Hot, hot! You and Van snicker as Lance yanks the shirt from his chest. The wetness from the water makes him look like an ugly duck. There's your tea. Enjoy. Oh, you are bad. Vanessa grabs her hand while the noble flails in distress. Well, let's get out of here. Are you coming or not? I guess I'll go with her. I'm done with this nonsense. Let's go back inside. My thoughts, too. Tally doesn't say a word to make you in Van's day. In fact, she's still staring at her own cup. Not a care in the world of what will happen to you. Anguished by her disinterest, you turn on your heel and start your escape and bump on onto someone, into someone. Oh, hi. Huh? Sorry to sound rude, but this uh, green-eyed beauty needs to stay with me. But we agreed to go inside together. It's okay, I'll catch up. Van looks from you to the mysterious woman and shrugs. You know where I am if, if you need me face a woman who looks eager to talk to you, or her hair, her dark eyes sparkle when she sees she has your full attention. Hi again. My name is Ale Alessandra, but you can call me Alex. Do you remember me? Alex. I'm a noble. To your surprise, she leans to you and whispers. I don't think you would have forgotten me that easily, Queen Sybil. I was three years old, but I used to kiss you like this. Oh, well, uh, uh, Alessandra, I do recall you. It seems like all those years didn't change you. You're still a flirt. That I am. So you're a maid now, huh? That must suck. It does. And you know I'm here even though you're a noble. What gives? Does the queen trust you that much? Maybe. Who else knows I'm alive? Something flashes in Alex's eyes before she answers. Just me, Telly and Lance, honestly. Though Lancelot seems to have forgotten who you are. He's stupid. Often, sometimes. So, why don't we have a small reunion right now? Come on. She grabs your hand and drags you back to the place you're avoiding. Tally and Lance's table. 
Alex forces you to sit in one of the chairs and takes her place next to you. Hello, Princess Talia. I. I heard you're getting married to Lance here. Congratulations, you must be so happy. <laughs> I like how they actually did a coughing sound. Mm -mm. Oh, why so silent, everyone? There should be a party between friends, and ah, oh, might I say, Princess, anyone of your standing should be excited. I don't feel anything, if you want to know the truth. Mm, you don't. What a shame. People who are about to get married should be feeling nothing but happiness. Oh, I know I am. For you and myself. Hmm. Interesting. Lance looks annoyed as he stares at Alex. It's nothing new. Alex used to irritate a lot of nobles when you were younger. Are you implying something? Spell it. Oh, gosh. So hot-headed. What I meant was I'm so happy that you and Talia are finally tied the knot after all these years, and... I'm so, so ecstatic that Sybil and I will do the same. Okay. Everyone turns to look at her. There's a ra rising panic in your chest, but you decide to play it cool by taking deep breaths. I should wait for an explanation. Explain this to me, Alessandra. And no beating around the bush. My patience is wearing thin. Okay, okay. The Queen told me that we're going to have a double wedding. The first ceremony will be done in private. Then, after a few weeks, you'll have a public wedding with Lance. Meanwhile, Sybil and I will live in my mansion. Isn't that awesome? Sounds awful. Excuse me, who asked for your opinion? Lance wipes his mouth with a napkin, refusing to look at you. I just thought it wouldn't be suitable for a future king and queen to have a double wedding with nobles, even private. It's a wee bit insulting. Yes, it's insulting for me. Whatever happens, you can't marry Sybil, Alex. Why not? Because we're both women, the Queen is changing that law just for me. Calling it a privilege for hot noble. She's not changing the law for you. Mother is doing that because she wants to mock me. Dolly's pleading eyes seek you out. Tell me this is a lie. You swallow hard, feeling like the universe is playing a mean joke on you. Tell me you're not marrying Lance first. You don't understand. Mm, I do, perfectly. We're caught in our own web, and there's no way to get out. Hey! We're still here, you know. Don't be so rude to us, right, Lance? Whatever. Do what you want with your life. I'm getting a migraine. All right, then. Let's go, Sybil. Your head is spinning as Alessandra yanks you to your feet. Everything is happening so fast, you barely have time to process things. Where are we going? Where else? We're going to my room. You're legal now. It's time to show you how the tigress plays. <laughs> okay. Um, alright. Nellie scrambles to her feet. You can't take her. Sybil is mine. Mm. I don't see your name on her, so technically she's not yours to claim. I don't care. If you take Sybil away from me, I will kill you. Alex is undeterred by the threat. She even marches to Tally and stares the princess in the eyes. I had better stop whatever is happening. Stop it, Alex. The palace guards are watching. And Talia? You're better than this. Alex smiles as she takes a step back. See? We're not even married yet, but Sybil is already taking my side. My mother will not always be queen, Alex. Someday I will take her place, and when that time comes... I know that, princess. And by then, Sybil won't go with you. She will be mine. Oh. I see. A game is afoot. Come, Watson. So with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down in the description below. We do have a Discord where you can come hang out, talk about choices, chapters, and the whole nine yards of whatever you want to talk about. And um, <clears throat> also there's some links to my social media accounts as well as some links to supporting my channel. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, hit that like and share button. Until next time, thanks for watching. Have a good one.